hello and welcome back to my channel this is Alicia and I'm going to add some more uh, BB craft supplies to this journal um, on the last video we added the appliques and the book corners the metal pieces I went ahead and um, crimped those down and they look they look really pretty. I'm really happy with those. Put the jewels on and I actually put the signatures in and stitch those in. And then I've added some file folders as signature covers, which I'm gonna be decorating um, this journal. And there's three signatures. And I didn't want to put four because I want to, it's going to be really thick. So I'm going to add pockets and everything. So four would probably be too many. And then I've left the strings down because I'm going to add the, the beads from the BB craft supplies that I got on the ends. And I've just picked out a few little odds and ends to add in. And so I'm going to go ahead and start with this supply of burlap that I got from BB Craft. And I've chosen this one here because it's kind of dainty and I think it goes along with the journal and the colors and everything. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up and lay it out like this. And then I want to glue this over the spine and just kind of cover up the stitching on this. And then I was thinking about adding some little uh, jewels inside of here to give a little shine. So let me go ahead and get my glue. And it's going to be a little tricky, so I'm just going to put the glue on the, the actual cover itself and then just lay it on top because it would be too finicky to add it on the back here, I think. Let's see, maybe I can go down the center here. Maybe it won't be too bad it's a little messy with this uh, skinny piece here. Let me just lay that over here. See, it's already sticking to my fingers. <laughs> but I think this will work, work out okay. I'm just going to do a square not try to get too much glue on here I think that should be plenty and I'm just gonna lay it on here straighten it out make it look pretty and I really like the way this looks so When once it's attached, it always looks better. Then I'll just kind of straighten it up a little bit here. That's really cute. I like that. There we go. And then I do have a have a grommet to put on here because I wanted to add I'm going to add a tassel to this journal so I got I already punched the hole I'm gonna put it right here on this top corner so I got that ready for later but I'm gonna let this dry first 
So this is what it looks like. And I guess what I'll do now is go ahead and add some beads onto these signature strings. And so what I figured out is I can use my threader to add these beads on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this through here. Now I've got glue all over my fingers now. And I'm just going to do it like this. And that works out really good. So there's my first one. And let's see. I think I'll add a light colored one. So find the hole. There it is. Do it through here. And I'm just kind of add random random colors on here. I'm going to be really simple about this, so I'm just going to tie a knot here so that it keeps all of them, all of the beads on it at once. I like the way that looks. And so then we go to the next one. And I think... Let's add Let's see if that looks good together. Oh yeah, let's do this one. Well, this one's going to be a little bit harder because my threader will not go through this. It's not long enough. Okay, there we go. It just adds some interest to your journal to put the beads on. And then the last one. Add some more of these. Yeah, I like this red. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Here's a, an orange, because I did put a lot of different colors on the cover, I'm trying to add in the colors that I used for the paint. And we'll do this smoky blue. I like the variation of colors in these beads. 
and they're really shiny, super shiny. All right. Let me just tie this in a knot. All right, so there we have it. We've got some dangles. I'm just gonna trim this off here. All right, so there's the dangles. Real simple, it kind of matches cover. And these are the BB Craft beads here. They're really pretty. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'll go ahead and add in my, my grommet, if I can find it. I know I'll put it in here, here it is. Got to crimp it. Okay. And now all I have to do is I could add a large jump ring like this one. And all I have to do is just add the large jump ring. And then I have a, a tassel. I don't know if I'm going to use this one. I don't know if this completely matches. It might. I'll have to think about it. But anyway, here's one that I made with all of the trims that I got recently. And I think it's so pretty. It's just lovely. So I'll think about what kind of tassel I'm going to use on that. And then the next thing we're going to do... I got two more pieces here. Um, I was gonna add some pockets on the inside here. So I think I'll just glue in a couple of pockets to slip in some tags or some old ephemera. Real simple. going to be kind of a dainty pocket, but once it's glued down, it'll stay. Okay, so there's that one. And I'll probably put some lace right here too, which I have some right here, but I'm going to think about that and see what I want to do. Let's put some put one in the back. Okay. This is super easy. And it's so pretty. Okay, there's that pocket. And I'll come back later and double check it to make sure there's no spots that need more glue. And then the next thing I wanna do is use my bulb pins and add on some charms. Here's one of the other charms I got. It's got a heart on it. And I'm just gonna add it to my, my lace right here. And these can be removed 
or move to a different place. And then I've got, let's see, I got a button, a fabric button that looks like it, it matches the journal. So I'm gonna put that on one. You could probably add a B to that. And add that on here. And I really like these. I got these from Hobby Lobby, but I can't decide. I think I want the lighter color. And I'm going to add this on there for some interest. I think I'm going to put it right here to be safe. And I can move this one back here. And this is the fun part, being able to add all the little pieces. I also have this too. These are fun to add on. So here's the little jewels, the dangles, the BB craft, the button. And that's fun. That's what that looks like. Now I can also not use a bold pen and I might end up changing to jump rings to bring these items in a little closer. So I'm going to think about that, but I just really wanted to pick these out and get them on here and then figure out my tassel. But I like the spine. I like my dangles. I like the colors. And I like the pockets. I could also take this right here as an added um, piece to secure the pockets. I could go around the edges here with this, which that is a good possibility. I might just do that because it kind of makes it into a complete pocket, makes it look finished. So that would be a good idea. So I might do that with this braided um, burlap. It could be jute, but it's a possibility. It's called jute too. But um, here it is. I'm gonna keep working on this. And I just wanted to come back on and finish up a few more little things and then I'm excited that I got the signatures in because I think it was cute. I got the coffee dyed papers and the avocado dyed papers, which matches the color scheme. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, all the links are below. If you have a YouTube channel with 100 subscribers, uh, you might have a chance to work with BB Craft to get free crafting supplies there's a coupon code in my description at the bottom and go check out BP craft and follow the links I, I put the the items also I'm linking those in the description that I got from them the appliques and the dangles the burlap and the beads and the book corners they're all in the bottom of this video so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you try out BB Craft, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.